So my topic of this vlog is sharks, shark, shark, shark. Last night, while I was watching the news, they had uh, Jeff Corwin come on. And if you're not familiar with Jeff Corwin, he had a series a while back. He is a uh, fairly well-known um, animal expert. I don't know if he's a biologist, zoologist, or what. But somewhat of the ilk of uh, Steve Irwin, the famous Australian uh, animal expert. Anyway, Jeff Corwin was on, and uh, I didn't catch the whole interview, but they were talking about sharks. Now, here in Florida, uh, around the beaches, uh, we quite often get schools of sharks coming in, and... Uh, from an overhead view, you can see these, these sharks. I mean, they're swimming, you know, just feet apart, hundreds of them. And most of the swimmers at the beach don't even realize it. And so they were interviewing Ir or, uh, Corwin about sharks. And the thing that prompted my thought to do this vlog is almost all of these animal so-called experts try to tell people that sharks do not target humans for food that if they bite a human it's by mistake it's an accident and uh, any deaths that humans uh, that are caused to humans are because of the severity of the bite well I sort of agree with them and I sort of don't I do believe it's true that animals like sharks tigers lions alligators do not specifically target humans However, these big predatory animals will kill and eat anything that they do not see as a threat to themselves. So a small shark might mistake the flash of your, the sole of your hand or the flash of the sole of your foot as a small fish and take a bite, resulting in a bunch of stitches for you and a lot of pain and the shark will probably swim off when it figures out that, hey, you're bigger than he is and pose a threat to him. However, something like a great white or a large bull shark, if they think that they can eat you and get away with it without getting hurt, they will. Same as if you're walking through an African savanna and you come across a pride of lions. They will eat your ass. I am sorry. They, they might not target humans specifically for food, but if they have the opportunity to eat you, you are meat. You are on the dinner menu. So anyway, I, I take exception to these animal experts. In, in fact, uh, I remember seeing a documentary, and I don't recall the name of it, where a so-called shark expert was talking to someone, and I think it might have even been to Jeff Corwin, and uh, talking about how you know sharks don't target humans, it's an accident if they bite you, blah, 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 and they're standing in waist-deep water with a bunch of bull sharks. And a nice 8 to 10 foot bull shark came up, bit the guy in the calf, and tried to drag him out to see to munch him. It was only the fact that uh, Corwin or whoever else it was was standing there that the guy didn't get killed and get, didn't get eaten. So I kind of th thought that somewhat uh, a little bit of uh, poetic justice, irony, whatever you uh, want to call it. Not that I'm happy the guy got bit, but uh, you know, if, if you're going to swim with sharks, uh, and a big one comes up, they're not going to bite you just to taste, taste you and spit you out. If they can eat you, they will. Anyway, that is kind of my rant, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, what do you think? Uh, do you think sharks will eat you if they have the opportunity? What about an alligator? Uh, what about a lion or a tiger? Would you go... Uh, walking through a, uh, a jungle where you knew that there were large tigers present without carrying a gun or having a guide or, or something like that? I don't think so. And I want to be clear, I don't want to scare anybody away from uh, coming to Florida and going swimming in our beautiful uh, ocean and uh, spending a lot of money around the beaches. 
you know, that's where we get a lot of our, uh, a lot of our money for the state. That's why our taxes are fairly low in comparison. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> even though your, uh, your odds of getting killed by a shark are like one in a million, here about three or four years ago, there were two kids that got killed a month apart up in the uh, Gulf. I think they were uh, up in the Panhandle area of Florida, having a good old time, playing in the uh, in the surf. They weren't even in deep water, and bull sharks killed them. So, I mean, if you're that one in a million, getting munched doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. And, uh, you know, at least if I'm on land, land is kind of my element, so, uh, I don't know. I, I think it's worse if you're out in the water and something kills you. And it's not just sharks, you know? Uh, out in the ocean, you've got barracuda. You've got all sorts of uh, different kind of critters that uh, can sting you and kill you. Again, not to scare anybody away from the beaches, but, uh, you know, because I love, I love to swim. I love the water, but uh, you know what? With all the alligators here in, uh, in Florida and uh, with all the dangers in the, uh, in the ocean, I think... Uh, I tend to want to stick to a swimming pool. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Anywho. Woohoo. Uh, ah! Oh, rule of riding. Don't bend over while your hand's on the throttle. <laughs> the scooter almost took, o took off on me. Anyway, found a nice little carabiner. Looks like it's been run over once or twice, but it still works. Anywho, I hope everybody is uh, doing well, and I hope my friends up north are uh, staying warm. I know there's some uh, bad snowstorms coming through. And uh, this is RC62, and I will uh, be vlogging at you later. Take care, folks.